Hello everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Calmsden here and since last episode finished up picking up all the bales bringing them down to the sheep here also got the water trailer brought down here placed down a hydrant and the sheep are now full of water here as well so I'm, on, uh, I'm not sure how much longer we gotta wait actually no it's probably what was it six months or eight months something like that I'm on before we probably start uh, getting wool here actually if we go to the map here it should tell us right uh, puberty, well, I guess it's just a percentage, so it doesn't actually tell us. I'm pretty sure it was eight months, if I remember correctly, when we bought these sheep here, everyone. So, yeah, in about eight months here, we should start seeing wool, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, they, they're full on water, and they're full on grass here at the moment. And we got, I don't know, about half or so of the bales left yet. So, I think that should be uh, enough to last us a while, hopefully. Anyway, uh, this episode, everyone, I want to work on the, the grass field here some more. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, there's a new category of equipment here in Farming Simulator 22, and that is the Grassland Care Equipment, in addition to a few other uh, new categories as well, of course. But kind of wanted to uh, try one of these out and just see what's what it does. I figure we'll probably just uh, start with a cheap one here and uh, just, yeah, see what's what it's going to do. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I, mean, I don't know what it's going to do for our fields here. Uh, they do need fertilizer, lime, all that uh, good stuff. So we're going to be working on that here, like I said, this episode. Hopefully get our grass here a little more uh, productive. Be curious to see once, you know, with all the work we're hopefully going to put into it, everyone. What our yield or number of grass bales we'll end up with off the field here next time will be. I guess we'll find out. So anyway, we're going to reset that back to the farm here. Okay, let's grab, what do we got for tractors here? You know what, the little, uh, how, actually how much horsepower did it say we needed for this? Uh, 90 horsepower. Okay, I was, I was just gonna say, a little fent here looks like it'd be a good, good tractor for this job, I'm thinking. And then this does have a cedar portion on it as well, but I'm not sure... Actually, we'll just have to look at that here a minute. Just, oh, that, not the right end. Okay, yep. Other way. Missed that by my wow. We are doing a bad job backing up at this here today. <laughs> okay, then. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Uh, so let's see. Let's actually go back to the shop here real quick, Kevin. This holds seed. Okay, yeah. Grass, canola, and uh, oil seed. That's what it is. Oil seed ranch. Couldn't think of what that uh, middle one there was for a minute. Pretty sure that's oil seed ranch. Let's see. We got, yeah, we got seed over here, I think, don't we? Oh, Might have just took out a new piece of equipment on the plow. I didn't see in the bushes there. Well, let's see. Which one of these was seed here again? Is that this one? And nope. Not getting nothing. That. that one's liquid. I know that one. Okay. Is this one over here seed? Then? No. Okay. One of these had seed. I thought, didn't it? Oh, maybe it's that one. Maybe this is the one. Is this the one that has seed? Uh, seeds. Yes, I can't tell. Yeah, I can't see what's actually in that one. Why do I have this one then? What is this one here for? That one is... That solid fertilizer? That must be solid fertilizer in that one. Okay, and then what is in this one? Oh, this one's the lime one, right? Yeah, okay. That's what we got. Yeah, it'd be nice to some way know, like, what's actually in each one, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Like, a little uh, symbol appears on the silo or something. Unless I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing that. Unless... Ah, oh, there we go. Unless you, like, go to the silo menu there, you really can't tell. And it's not even, like, super obvious once you're in that menu as to what's actually in there. I don't think it, like, says, you know, okay, there's seed in it, but is there, you know, 100 liters, 10,000 liters? No idea. I think it looks like it folds up, doesn't it? Nope, it's not. Oh, kind of wide going down this road, isn't it, everyone? I'd have to talk to somebody about that. Oh, and I just noticed something on this tractor. I, mean, I was going to point this out here a couple episodes back. I uh, forgot to do that, but uh, we'll have to disconnect this here once we get to the field. I'll point a little something out about this tractor. I don't know if folks maybe notice it here while, while we're driving down the road. Yeah, like once you see it, it's, oh boy, kind of hard to unsee it. This gate. Uh, okay, that gate would work. Actually, there's that's right. We're going through here. Going up around this way. Not sure which way the uh, best way for order of operations here when it comes to this field, everyone. It needs to be plowed as well. I don't know if we actually have to plow it. We're going to find out here.
Woohoo. Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, let's just uh, lower that down, turn it on. What do we get? Okay, it's doing something. What is it doing, though? That is my question here. Doesn't take away the plowing. Okay, it'd be nice if it would take away the plowing. Uh, plowing, I mean, it's what? 10? Is it 10% or 15%? I forget exactly what it is again, but... Doesn't seem to actually be using any seed. The only thing it seems to actually be doing maybe is, is it putting down fertilizer? Oh, it's actually what it's uh, doing. I mean, it's taking away the little tufts of grass we got here and they're gone. <laughs> okay. That is interesting. Uh, so we still need lime, need plowing. Fertilized over here is. Oh, we're actually up to 50%. I think it was actually zero before, if I remember correctly. Uh, yield bonus plus. Uh, growth over here is harvested. Doesn't tell me a yield bonus. Okay. Plus about 50 some percent from the looks of it. There might be a little higher because, again, when I mean, it takes the average of the area around you. So, okay, back to the map here. What do we got? Uh, okay, it's just adding fertilizer from what I'm seeing, everyone. And apparently removing the weeds, too, if I understand it correctly. So, I think we're actually what we're going to want to do have one. I think the best thing would actually be to take the plow to this field and actually plow the field. Uh, and I know I hate to do that when it's a field that's already like planted and it has grass growing in it. But at least uh, for me, anyway, when I want to plow it. So we'll get rid of the plowing state on that field. And as far as I know, once we plow that field, I mean, it shouldn't have to be plowed again. So let's get a tractor over here. And we'll uh, grab our plow and bring our plow over there as well. Then we can uh, just replant that field in grass once we uh, once we get that taken care of. Plus, we need alignment as well. I will get that done at the same time. Uh, now, the hitch is the hitch is buried in the tree there, isn't it? Okay. I'm gonna get that uh, folded up, otherwise there's no, whoa. whoa. Uh, I guess we're stuck in the tree there a little bit. Whoops. Funny, I had no problem. You know what? I must have bumped it into the tree a little more than I realized here. And no problem getting it in here at first. Oh boy, don't tip over the track. There we go. Ah, uh, heavy lift. Comes in handy. But comes in handy. Okay, finally to the field we go. And I just noticed how many hours we have on this tractor here already. We're looking at uh, 17 and a half hours on this tractor. Oh my goodness. We can a tractor, but I still wouldn't mind picking up another larger tractor here yet at some point. Yeah, maybe another uh, 200 horsepower or so tractor. Just be uh, nice to have, I think, another one. I was hoping I could get away with three tractors of them, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's here. I'm going to throw people, look out, places to be, things to do, fields to plow. Maybe should put a weight on the front of this tractor. Let's get that uh, folded back out here. And at least for the first pass around the field, that one. Uh, I know it's kind of like the wrong way, but... I don't think we want to go the right way around here. Oh, interesting enough, that uh, roller doesn't actually do anything to, to the grass, does it? The grass, do we need to be a little further in? I'm not actually sure where the actual field ends here. Yeah, 
yeah, it looks like I need to be a little further over. Okay, good to know. I was kind of just uh, following uh, where we mowed, everybody. Then again, when I mowed, uh, I didn't get uh, super close to the edge, and I'm not actually sure where the edge is here. Hey, apparently further in than that, yep. Oh, and then we're gonna end up with stones too, yeah, well, poop. Yeah, so we were, uh, we were discussing the uh, stones in the comments section here. It was an episode or two back, everyone. Uh, seriously considering probably just uh, turning the stones off, to be honest, everyone. And kind of wishing I would have, I don't know if I want to do that now or not. Maybe we'll wait till after we got this field taken care of a one. And I might just turn the stupid stones off. Because let's face it, everyone. The way Giants has done stones in this game is so stupid. It's just, you might as well turn the, the, the stupidness off, everyone. It, yeah. The, the, the whole stone feature, I mean, uh, Giants needs to go back to the drawing board on that one. And, uh, yeah, fix that if you ask me, everyone. And I know a lot of you folks uh, feel the same way about that. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of people in the comments there, like, turn them off, and we've already done it. And uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go the same way. We're just going to be done with the stupid stones and turn them off. If it wasn't back where you started plowing the field and they got stones on the field, I mean, I probably would do it now, but we'll, uh, we'll wait until we get this field taken care of here. It's only a small grass field. Nah, I'm going to write too much about the stones on it yet. Am I going to complain about him? Probably yes, but. Probably get a hired worker and or uh, force play to do some plowing here in a few moments, everyone. I'm just going to go around and get the headland myself here first. Might do another pass or two after this one here just to have a nice headland to go around the field. Plus, once I have this first headland done, I'm mean, going to actually see where the edge is as well. At this point, I'm kind of just operating blind. Looks like I was actually really close when I mowed this edge. I was, like, right on the, right on the edge there, wasn't I? And it was definitely not intentional, just... Uh, Happened to be the way it worked out there. And as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, everyone, uh, there is an update out for this map. Uh, though per the map author, everyone, in order to uh, use the update, you have to start a new save game. Uh, so debating on how I want to handle that everyone. I really don't want to start a new save game here at this point uh, Although the update to the map would be nice uh, It does add a new uh, crop type as well. I forget what the crop type was here again right off the top of my head everyone, So I apologize on that one, but uh, there is a new crop type in the update for the map Oh missed a little bit there come on now There we go. And just go back over this edge here again real quick. Oh, we're going to spin our tires. Okay. Uh, what is... Um, yeah, yeah, saving content. What is the uh, control here for turning on the diff locks? No, that's not the one we need. We need that one. And that is, I think, enhanced vehicle. Well, that's the enhanced vehicle mod. I'm pretty sure is the one that has that. So that is... There's enhanced vehicle. Okay, what is our controls here? Move tracks. That, I believe, is... Uh, enhanced vehicle has GPS as well, by the way, apparently. Lock the uh, rear axle. Uh, let's see. Right control. E-pad 8. 9. Both diff locks on and off. Okay, 7, 8, 9 looks like. Is there going to be our ticket? That's four-wheel drive. There we go. Lock both diff locks. That did the trick. There we go. Quick pass down this edge. Oh, yeah, we definitely missed a little bit, didn't we? Not a lot, but.
Okay, I think that looks like that's pretty good. Go ahead and uh, roll the plow over here. We're actually kind of like plowing the right direction. And now that we have... Actually, is that going to be the right... No, wait. Yeah, right direction if we kept going the same direction we're currently going. Like I said before, when you just don't see plows like this here in uh, America, there probably is somewhere, everyone, but at least around where I live and uh, most of the other uh, larger farming operations, you just do not see plows like this, especially ones that turn over, too. You really don't see those, everyone. You know, again, you might see some moldboard plows uh, rusting away in the back 40 somewhere, probably most likely, but... And then if you do see them, everyone, like I said, you don't see ones that, like, turn over like this. Just, again, interesting, everyone, to see the difference there, uh, especially when it comes to plows. I mean, the major difference between European and American technology or American farming practice when it comes to that. You know, if you go back probably, like, 40 years, everyone, you know, the moldboard plow is probably still the plow of choice. I'm not exactly sure when... Uh, you know, became more chisel plows, but. but yeah, at some point, obviously in America here, uh, switched from using, again, the mold board plow like this. Well, not exactly like this, of course, but uh, similar to this, switched over to using the chisel plow. And of course, now you got a lot of farms that uh, will practice a more no-till type operation as well. So no primary tillage. And when we uh, talk about primary tillage, everyone, uh, we're talking usually like chisel plow, plowing, something that's getting down in there a little bit deeper in the ground, uh, turning it over a little more, working it up. A little more uh, like drastic, right? Usually even a lot of farmers having that practice no-till still do some form of tillage to some extent yet. You know, say you got a cornfield in the fall, they'll run a VT type disc over it just to break up them stalks a little bit. You know, again, I mean, they're really not turning over a lot of soil, but just kind of cutting it up a little bit. You know, and again, when you compare that to the moldboard plow, where it's basically just taking an entire slab of ground and just flipping the whole thing over. For those of you never seen a uh, plow in real life, I mean, it's. it's kind of cool to watch how it just uh, takes, uh, again, uh, essentially a slab of soil of one and flips it over 180 degrees. So what was on top is now the underside usually, depending if it can actually get it all the way over or not. And then uh, what was on the bottom is now the top, essentially. Doing a terrible job turning here, by the way. Watch, actually, you know, that would make sense. I mean, if we got the diff locks on, I'm not sure if the game takes that into consideration or not. But if you try to turn with diff locks on, I wonder, um, not typically a good thing, especially if you got front and uh, rear diff locks there. Did we miss that here? Yes, we did. Yeah, we'll have to make sure we uh, run the rock picker across this field here. I want to make sure we pick up any of the uh, larger or medium rocks that might still exist here. Uh, get rid of those. Again, as I noted before, everyone, when it comes to the rocks here, once you have small rocks, uh, if you don't do anything with the small rocks, then eventually you will get medium rocks. And then, of course, obviously, if you don't do anything with those, then, yeah, we'll before you know it, I mean, you'll have large rocks. And what kind of you know, tools you're doing on your field. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll go around one more time. I think we'll go around one more time here, everyone. I'm on tractor. Out of curiosity, I haven't uh, checked. I should probably do that, everyone. Do we got anything interesting for sale? Ooh, we got a Fent 900 Vario oven. That would pull this plow half decent. Uh, 300 horsepower there. Uh, we also got a case speed tail, but hmm. Fent 900. What do you folks think? Should we, uh, that seems like a pretty good price there, everyone. That is 50% off. It's not bad. Probably couldn't have a better sale of them, but yeah. Fent 930 there, 296 horsepower. 
That would definitely be a serious upgrade for our farm here. Oh yeah, we got the axe down 800. And then of course we got a massive failure. Sticking kind of again everyone with the more uh, European type uh, tractors here for this map. You know, we got one of these uh, boss tractors. You have one? Or uh, in other words, baby puke green tractors. Uh, we got one of those red and white tractors, i.e. a massive failure. And then we got the little Fent, uh, I think it was a Fent 300, right? 314. Which is clearly the wrong color green. And turn off those diff locks here. I don't think we need those on. There we go. Those are not uh, spinning the tires, which I have noticed, by the way, what this tractor likes to do here with this uh, plow on the back. Sometimes you get down in that plow furrow, just the way the game simulates it, everyone. And the next thing you know, you got one uh, tire spinning versus another one. And again, by the way, when the game does have essentially built in differential locks. What the enhanced vehicle mod does is allow you to turn them on and off. Uh, whether or not that's a useful feature, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's there. Yeah, if we were to hire a worker, I mean, I'm not sure how well that would work on this field. There's not really, like, any uh, good straight line to go by here. Again, the hired workers will go uh, 22 and a half degrees, you have one. But even at 22, we need more like a 12. Well, let's see what's going half. That would be more like, what, 11? 22 and a half would be 11 and a quarter. Yeah, we need more like 11 and a quarter, I guess, everyone. almost all the way around this field here. Then we'll have to debate. Do we want to set this up with force play or do we want to just use a regular hired worker? Yeah, we're what, 20, 26 degrees here. This is one on an angle like that, but we could possibly make that work. Maybe, I don't know. Kind of got like a curved edge on this field here, so. I'll read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Christopher was saying, good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that there, uh, Christopher. I haven't responded to her. Otherwise, I'm not going to see him. There we go. Uh, Hunt Gaming was asking, wasn't it Farming Simulator uh, 20, or Farming Simulator 13 or 15? If you didn't feed the animals, they'd die? Uh, I'm going to guess that must have been at least uh, 13. I don't think that was a thing in 15. But yes, I'm pretty sure uh, Hunt Gaming is correct on that one. Let's see, what's, what kind of angle are we looking at here? We're looking at uh, zero there. Not sure how much uh, or how well the plow would turn around at that angle, though. That actually might be a half, halfway decent. Eh, I don't know. Maybe we should go up to the top there. That top actually looks fairly straight. Let's go try that. Actually, you know what? Power way up there. I was going to lift it up and drive up, but might as, well, might as well work our way up there. Uh, Hatcher was saying, great video. I didn't know about the uh, control B uh, with two mowers to raise. It's a pain. I will try that. I have uh, restarted this map twice already. Not going to do it a third time. I'm curious as to why Hatcher has had to restart the map twice already. And that's, again, kind of why I don't want to have to update the map here either. 
because again per the map author apparently you have to start a brand new save game and yeah i i just do not want to have to start a brand new save game here all right i mean we're only what we're not even two weeks in yet i want to have to start over fresh again like really i don't know yeah no. anyway we're gonna hire a worker on that one just uh why Look there, buddy. You got the plow turned the wrong way. And then I get the hired worker to plow the direction I want him to. Is he like just not. Oh, uh, wait. Horse play. Uh, that shouldn't be hired. Horse play. Should I? Let's go check this here a minute. Okay, let's see. Once here, create a job. Go to. No, we want field work. There we go. It's interesting to everyone that it said it was on a course play there. I'm not sure what the course play was actually like doing the field there. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, I think we got it working out with just a regular hired worker. I think that'll uh, hopefully uh, do the trick. How are we looking on stones here on this field, by the way? Oh, yeah. Definitely have a few uh, orange. Looks like maybe even a red stone there. So, again, I mean, if you have small stones... And you continue working the field with small stones, you end up with medium stones, and then, of course, eventually large stones. So, you don't want to just, like, let the small stones sit. You want to deal with them. Or in this case, I'm like, we're just going to, once we got this field dealt with, I think we're just going to turn stones off. Because, uh, let's face it, it's, it's a stupid feature, everyone. Extremely stupid. Hopefully, at uh, some point, our giants will see the, uh, Severe errors of their ways and actually uh, fix the stones. Supposedly they had with the last update, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not seeing any changes. Or actually, that was the previous update, supposedly. Some of the people had said. Oh, is that going to fit? Nah, quite. Not quite, is it? I think we're going just a little more. I think we can make it work. There we go. That'll work. I like that. Now let's grab our lime spreader here. And we can just go ahead and put the lime on the field right away, everyone. Let the plow plow some of it in and be done with it. And then we can paint all that grass with our big cedar there as well, but I'm not sure if there's really an advantage of one over the other on that or not. Oh, hey, deer. I got coming through. Why is there a deer just kind of like running down the road here? That seems a little weird. Hey, person, look out. Full speed ahead. Oh, I should have checked. Oh, yeah. No, I think we got enough lime. I just realized that as we're almost to the grass field here, I didn't actually check and see if we got enough lime. Uh, that, that's typical. Typical. Get to the field to find out that, ah, uh, crap, you don't have whatever product you're uh, trying to bring to the field. Okay, let's just start at the top end of this field here again. It seems to be uh, about the straightest edge, and we can get some uh, GPS set up here. Again, the other side of the field there, everyone, the opposite end, is, it's got like a curve to it. Wow, Ryzen, the uh, hired works actually doing a halfway decent job here, it looks like. Get some uh, GPS fired up here a minute. We want, uh, we'll just do zero probably, I think. Actually, that'd be 90, I guess, technically. Auto with that. Ooh, that's pretty close. I'm let's uh, shift that over here just a little bit. Nope, wrong way. Other way. Bring it to about the hedge there. That should be pretty good, I think. Speaking of the hedges, by the way, Evan, I know uh, someone in the comments was asking, do you realize you can drive through the hedges, right? Uh, yes, Evan, I'm very much aware you can drive through the hedges, all except for at least uh, this one here. I don't know if maybe there's some other ones you can't drive through, but you can't drive through the one that's right here, apparently, for some reason. Don't know why, but... Uh, Ethan was saying, I think the uh, tram lines are just a guide for when farmers are spraying. 
Uh, they usually set them knowing that the, how wide their sprayer is. I'll have to get out of the way here a minute. Oh boy. Back it up. Back it up. Let's plow through here a minute. Uh, he was saying, I would guess these are or were used before GPS really took off, as well as curious to see once if they will continue. Uh, with GPS sectional and precision spraying, they may not be very necessary anymore. Um, as far as I know, at least over in Europe, I think they still slightly rely or maybe completely rely on uh, tram lines yet. Uh, I, even back in the day when I've never seen tram lines used here in America. I, again, there probably is somewhere I've won, but at least out in the farming country I've won. I've never seen tram lines used. Even before there was GPS. Uh, before there was GPS, everyone, the farmer would use foam on the sprayers to mark where the hand hand sprayed. And then when it came to fertilizer, everyone, well, I think it was pretty much just a guessing game, right? And hope you were close. Oh, that was not enough lime, was it? Okay, well, back to the uh, farm. We'll get some more lime here then, I guess. Okay. I thought for sure, Evan, that would have been more than enough lime to finish that. Not even close. The one uh, downside having this uh, three-point lime spread, everyone. Um, super convenient, nice width, but it does not hold near enough. And you probably really wouldn't want it to hold a whole lot more either, because uh, then the tractor probably would be a little rear-end heavy. Get no steering out of those front tires. Off the ground that far. Anyway, I've been looking at the time here. Looks like it is unfortunately time to wrap it up here in this episode already. So that you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.